Hi, my name is Ashwarya and I'll be your trainer for today. We will be learning how to source resumes from Monster. If you can see my screen, the right URL is hiring.monster.com. Click on sign in. I have my login credentials already saved. Click on continue to sign in. This is the Monster homepage. Let's go to my candidates tab and click on search resumes. Once you click on search resumes, you will get the Monster search form. And there are two types of searches that Monster offers. One is the power resume search and other one goes by classic resume search. To start with, we'll see a classic resume search. This is my search string. I will select the resume freshness as I only want to see resumes that have been posted in the past two weeks. If you have a zip code for your client location, you can select the zip code or you can simply go and select the entire state. I have a zip code for my client. For example, it's New York. I select the zip code from New York and I want resumes only from 30 miles from that zip code. That is where you can select the most recent employer and most recent title. I'm looking for candidates with developer or engineer or programmer titles. I want them to have a bachelor's degree. This is my search so far. When I click on search, it will show me candidates that have Java experience, some Spring experience and some experience with either microservices or Spring Boot. You can sort these resumes and if you select the title, all the candidates with developer titles will come first. This is the resume freshness and this is the relevance. If you see at the right hand side of each candidate, it says if it's a high or a low keyword match. If I select relevance, all the high keyword match candidates come on top, followed by medium and the last will be low keyword match candidates. This is the sorting based on relevance. If you want to look at candidates who live close by, I can sort them by location. When I sort them by location, the candidates who live closest to the zip code come first. This is in descending order currently, so I changed it to ascending so that all the candidates that stay close will be on my first list. If you click on the name, the resume will open in the same tab. When you have to go back to the search results, click on back to search results. But if I want this resume to be opened in a new window, I have to click on this icon. The next thing we can do is call them or email them. And also, it's a good practice to forward each resume to yourself. As I want to add this resume to my internal database, that is JobDiva, I'll send it to monster.apptask.jobdivaemail.com. This resume will go to my inbox and also to our internal database. I want to include the attachments as well, so I will check include attachment. To change the search criteria, click on modify search. It will take me back to the search form where we started. For example, now I'm not able to find candidates within 30 miles radius of this zip code. I can select maybe 50 miles, 60, 75, up to 200 miles and if I'm still not able to get a candidate, I can open my search to anyone in New York or the neighboring states. For example, if I'm okay with anyone in New York or New Jersey, so much PIN code is gone. So now it will search candidates that have Java, Spring and microservices and are posted in the last two weeks and are local to New Jersey or New York. With the title either developer, engineer or programmer and who minimum have a bachelor's degree. Now if you have to search for candidates with particular languages, for example candidates coming with bilingual experience. If you're looking for a customer service executive that can speak Spanish, you can include Spanish in your search or you can simply go down and look at the language drop down. You can click on Spanish intermediate proficiency and simply add it. Now when I'm looking for a candidate who has experience in customer service and can also speak Spanish. I forgot to change the titles from my previous search which was developer, 
or programmer or engineer. This is a basic customer service position. So this is how my search looks like at the moment. I'm looking for someone who has customer service experience and that can speak in Spanish. Now, if I look at this particular candidate, Carmen Rivera, bilingual customer service associate, you can see that she can speak in Spanish as well as in English. So this is the type of candidate we can find by using the language attribute from Monster. Now let's try doing a power search. Go back to modify search and click on power search and it takes you to the power search form. So similarly for how we did it for developers, I can simply do developer, programmer or engineer in the title and I want them to have minimum of 8 years of experience and around New York. I can keep it to 30 miles. If I want some spring experience, I can mark spring framework as required. Some experience with microservices is required too and let's search resume updated in the last one month. This is how you do a search using the power search. Let's see if the results are as per our search criteria. Now this person is a Java developer, has 9 years of experience and we can see that they have relevant experience. This candidate also has microservices experience for 4.9 years and Spring Framework experience for almost more than 2 years. So we can review the resume. The good part of Monster is that it highlights your keywords in the resume itself. Like these are the keywords that I have entered and all the keywords are highlighted in yellow. So it's easier to identify the skill required. I can forward this resume to myself as well to our internal database Job Diva by sending an email and mentioning the relevant email IDs. And I can include the attachment and click on send. This resume will be in my inbox in the next few minutes. You can also set up crawlers on Monster by saving your search. You can do this by using a classic search. These are all the previously saved searches. I can run a search anytime on the saved searches. I can run the search and it will come up with resumes that are pertaining to that particular search. So it's a QA engineer someone who's local to Georgia within 20 miles and these are the skills that are nice to have. So this is how you can set up a saved search and use it whenever you want. This is helpful when you have repetitive positions in the same location. This is all Monster has to offer as of now. Thank you for watching.